I'm, I'm a little bit scared here because there's a bit of a drop behind me and so I really don't want to lose my balance while I film this because that's going to be tragic. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Rashi Himalu and today we have a very different setting. So I'm on a little holiday at the moment to Mount Cook. I've got beautiful views behind me and I thought, hey, wait a minute. I'm just going to do a very quick makeup video for you. Guess what? We're going to review the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm lipsticks. These are the ones where you apply on your lips. Depending on the pH of your lips, it changes that lip color that's going to be different on everyone. So this is not a new type of product. Lots of brands have done this. And so I was really intrigued when Charlotte Tilbury came out with this just because I love these type of products. They are so easy to use. You just pop it on, you're out the door. You don't even need a mirror to apply these. So I thought straight away, yep, I'm going to buy it. So I did. I got both shades. One is a pink tone and the other one gives you a bit of a reddish tint. However, I have been testing these out and I've got to tell you, they're not that great. They're really not worth the money. So I'm just going to show you what these look like on my lips in natural daylight. And then let's have a chat. First up is the shade Glittergasm. This packaging is really stunning. I'm going to pop it close to the camera. And I hope you can see that sparkle. So it has a lot of glittery sparkle right inside the lipstick. And these glitter particles don't really come off on the lips. So when I apply this, I don't see a ton of shimmer on my lips, which is fantastic. However, the scent, oh my God, you guys, it is so strong. It's in, I just, I don't understand why this smells like a cheap fruity cocktail. I don't get it. I. I I don't get it and it's really off-brand for Charlotte Tilbury for a scent like this. I feel like this product is targeted for teenagers and yet teenagers probably won't be able to afford this product. Anyways, let me apply this on my lips so you can see what this looks like. And this shade unfortunately doesn't give off a lot of pink tone to my natural lips. My natural lips are pretty pigmented and it, it doesn't really do anything for me. And there you go. I've got this on. So I'm going to come a little bit closer just to show you what this color looks like. So next up, I've got Jewel Gasm. So this one has no shimmer. It just looks like a red jelly. Can you see that? Oh, there you go. You can see the light through it. There's absolutely no shimmer in this shade. And this one gives my lips a little bit of that red tint. So I'm just going to apply that now. I'm, I'm a little bit scared here because there's a bit of a drop behind me. And so I really don't want to lose my balance while I film this because that's going to be tragic. Uh, but don't worry, I am nice and secured. Yeah. Okay, so this one is Jewelgasm. They are a little bit emollient on my lips so they do feel nice and almost a little bit balmy and this one here is jewel gasm so i'm just gonna pop my sunnies on while we have a bit of a chat about these all right much better so i've been with trying out these charlotte tilbury jewel gasm glitter gasm lip colors now for some time since i've gotten them i've been trying them out i didn't want to film the video for you straight away just because i wanted to give these a really good go i'm disappointed with the charlotte tilbury lipsticks because there's better products in the market the problem i have with these is one the scent is very strong it's not a nice scent and every time i use these i just think like Ugh. I'm gonna gag because the scent is horrible to me. I mean, the scent is really horrible to me. So I don't really like using them, unfortunately. They do give a tint to the lips and I do believe they're going to look different on every skin tone. On my skin tone, they don't give me a strong tint. So I have brown skin and pigmented lips and these definitely don't give me a strong enough tint that I'm satisfied with. So I found these to be mildly hydrating. So if I wear them a whole day, they're okay. I can kind of wear them out the whole day. Of course, reapplication is annoying because of that scent. However, they are mildly hydrating and they will keep my lips nice and emollient feeling. But they're not very hydrating. So I still feel the need of a lip balm when I use these, which kind of defeats the purpose. So 
what I highly recommend is if you're interested in a product like this that changes with the pH and blah -de blah -de blah then really go with Lipstick Queen. So Lipstick Queen do a very similar lipstick where they change color depending on your lip tone. And they do, for example, the shade Princess Frog that I've used up. I don't even have any more because I've used the whole thing up. It gives me a beautiful deep berry pout it is so stunning and it is on my repurchase list so i much prefer that than the charlotte tilbury glittergasm it also doesn't have a strong scent so i'm not gagging every single time i use those lipsticks and then of course uh, they do other shades they have a lipstick that turns your lip color a little bit red they have one that turns your lip color a little bit peachy that one is really beautiful as well so i've used up the peachy one and the pink one i don't think these are worth the money if you're looking for something like this please go with lipstick queen i highly recommend those hop on my hat because wow that sun is so strong wow i just realized i could have been filming this with my hat on <laughs> why but then you would have probably not would have seen some of these views so this is beautiful new zealand if you guys ever get a chance post covid to visit new zealand mount cook is a must you have to come to mount cook so right now this is summer for us so you can see those ice cap mountains at the back in winter a lot of this here is just snow i haven't been here in winter so i'm dying to come back here again in winter and experience this for myself in summer this is absolutely beautiful and i've got a, a scenic flight right on top of me you can probably hear that right now let that go so it's a beautiful day i'm probably burning to a crisp i do have a ton of sunscreen on by the way a ton you will not believe it i'm not even wearing foundation today because the whole point is reapplication. hey thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video see ya Oh wow. That's the glacier. <laughs>